Have you ever stood at a bus stop, watching the doors fold open with a hiss and a clunk, and wondered, why are they designed like that? Unlike car doors or even train doors that slide neatly into the side, most buses use split folding doors made of two or more panels that concertina inward or outward. It's such a familiar sight that most of us never stop to question it. But these folding panels aren't just a quirky design choice. They're an elegant engineering solution tailored for safety, efficiency, space, and reliability in a world that demands all four at once. Let's explore right here on History of Simple Things. The design of a bus door is anything but random. Every feature is engineered to serve a very specific purpose, whether it's moving large numbers of people quickly, keeping passengers safe, or surviving the wear and tear of constant urban use. Folding panel doors, often referred to as bifold or trifold doors, are common in city buses and shuttle vehicles around the world. Unlike single-piece doors that swing open, Folding panel doors split into multiple sections, collapsing into themselves in a synchronized motion. But why go through all that mechanical complexity instead of using simpler sliding or swinging doors? The most obvious reason lies in space efficiency. City buses operate in tight urban environments. There's often not enough room at bus stops or on narrow streets for wide swinging doors like those on a regular car. A standard outward swinging door would need several feet of clearance just to open properly, potentially bumping into pedestrians, lampposts, or other vehicles. Sliding doors could be an option, but those require wall space to retract into, space that buses often don't have, especially with passengers packed tightly inside. Folding panel doors, on the other hand, only need a fraction of that clearance, collapsing neatly to the side or center without intruding into external or internal space. This compact motion makes them perfect for buses, where every inch counts. Speed is another major advantage. City buses are on strict schedules and make frequent stops, sometimes every few blocks. The faster people can get on and off, the better the system flows. Folding doors open quickly and create a wide, accessible gap in the middle of the bus. That's particularly important during rush hour, when dozens of people may be entering and exiting the bus in a matter of seconds. A single swinging door or even a basic sliding mechanism just wouldn't be fast or wide enough to handle the volume. Folding doors create that large opening while still using minimal mechanical movement. Then there's the issue of safety. Folding panel doors offer better visibility for the driver and can be more easily integrated with modern safety systems. Many bus doors now include sensors that detect when a person or object is in the doorway, preventing the doors from closing until the way is clear. Folding doors are easier to equip with pressure-sensitive edges and motion detectors because the panels can house those components directly. Additionally, because the motion of the doors is mostly vertical and inward, there's less chance of someone getting hit or pinched during operation compared to a wide swinging door. The design naturally guides passengers inward or outward, making the flow of foot traffic smoother and safer. Durability also plays a role. Public transportation vehicles undergo enormous stress. They're used all day, every day, in all kinds of weather conditions. Doors open and close thousands of times a week, and they need to keep functioning flawlessly to keep the system running. Folding panel doors tend to be more robust than other types of door systems. Their mechanisms are simple often relying on pneumatic or electric actuators that are easy to service and maintain. Plus, because they fold in sections, they can continue to operate even if one panel becomes slightly damaged. In contrast, a sliding door that jams or a single-piece swing door that breaks its hinge could take an entire bus out of service, 
In a transit system where uptime is everything, reliability matters. Let's not forget accessibility. Modern buses must accommodate passengers of all kinds, including those using wheelchairs, walkers, strollers, or carrying large bags. Folding panel doors can be designed to open wider and more flexibly than most other door types, making it easier for ramps or low floor designs to line up perfectly with curb levels. The door's motion doesn't interfere with ramps, which often slide or fold out from beneath the bus floor. This design synergy ensures that all passengers can board quickly and safely, maintaining compliance with accessibility laws, and more importantly, preserving human dignity and independence. Inside the bus, the folding doors take up less usable space than sliding or swinging doors. Since they collapse against each other, they don't block seats or aisle space when open. This is important during peak hours when standing room is limited and buses are packed to capacity. A smooth boarding and exiting experience also helps reduce crowding near the front or back of the vehicle, distributing passengers more evenly throughout the cabin. That means fewer delays, less frustration, and a better overall experience for everyone on board. In the end, folding panel doors are a small but powerful example of how thoughtful design can solve multiple problems at once. They combine space efficiency, speed, safety, durability, and accessibility into one compact system. Sure, they might look unremarkable, or even a little old school compared to high-tech sliding doors on a train or airport shuttle, but that's the beauty of functional design. Form follows function, and every crease and fold in that door serves a vital purpose. So the next time you're boarding a bus and hear that familiar hiss of air, and see those panels parting before you, take a moment to appreciate the engineering behind it. Because even the simplest things, like a bus door, can tell a surprisingly complex story. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.